life-size sex doll called Kitty stolen by two men in 8,400 pound raid. Two men have been caught on CCTV stealing a life-size sex doll from a sex shop. Police in Melbourne, Australia are hunting for two thieves who, who they believe broke into the, into the shop and stole almost $15,000 worth of goodies. Investigators believe the men used a metal pole to smash the window at an adult store, Airport West Sexyland. Uh, detectives determined the f- robbers made off with around $10,000 worth of vibrators and $4,500 uh, worth of life-size sex do- or of a life-size dex- sex doll named Kitty. The brand of doll uh, stands at 165 centimeters tall and comes in a range of bust and waist sizes. It is also customizable by hair and eye color and skin tone. Authorities in Australia claim stealing of sex dolls is on the rise as people look to combat loneliness during the pandemic. The two men drove away in a white Ford Ranger with stolen uh, number plates, and police are still yet to make any arrests. Police say Kitty's head was detached in a quick getaway, and it was found later in the car park. Four years ago, a a different sexy land store in Melbourne was targeted, and a thief stole a $4,500 life-size doll called Dorothy. CCTV showed the man arriving at the store in Moorabbin, near Melbourne, in a white Ford Transit van in the early hours of the morning. Authorities worked on the theory they the thief used bolt cutters to get through the fence and a fire hydrant to break into the shop. Uh, each li- uh, lifelike sex doll is developed from superior material. So, yeah. yeah. But, uh, I mean, sex dolls getting stolen on the rise, man. That's crazy. <laughs> and they can't share the news on the social media. Yeah. They'll, they'll, never, they'll never catch this guy. Two guys. So this one guy got another guy on board to steal a sex doll. The thing is, you said they're like, oh, they stole $5,000 worth of dildos. Well, how are you going to move $5,000 worth of dildos or something? Yeah. <laughs> like, are you just going to, like, yeah. wherever lonely women are and, like, trying Look, to sell? Looking around, it's like, hey, are you tired of humping that brick wall over there? <laughs> <laughs> I got a flashlight for you. <laughs> yeah. And, and also, if you're the second guy, like, you're going to fight – are you going to go second on that sex doll? Like, are you going to wait for the first well, guy? Well, yeah. So, so if you think about it, one guy was the mastermind. Yeah. And then he had to talk to somebody else. Yeah. <laughs> well, hey, depending on the uh, sex doll, it might have two holes. <laughs> well, that's true. Oh. Some deep – Like a chair. <laughs> they like can just hug it. <laughs> I'll have it on Mondays and Wednesdays. You can have it on Tuesdays and Thursdays. This headless sex doll. <laughs> <laughs> We never clean it. <laughs> you know me, man. I'm by the seat of my pants. I don't yeah. clean it. <laughs> and you can sell it to some pervert who wants like a used sex doll. <laughs> Make it like oh a, yeah, you can sell it online. <laughs> yeah. It's like the odd couple. Like one of them's like, did you come in the sex doll again and not clean it? Jeez, Mark, every time. <laughs>